Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Come along with me on this trip as we go fishing for striped bass on Lake Watery in South Carolina. <laughs> Folks, this trip was taking place in the springtime, uh, in between turkey hunts, as a matter of fact. Uh, I had turkey hunt in that area, and uh, in between those trips, I tried to get out on Lake Watery to chase some stripers. And on this trip, we're just hitting some community holes, some areas that everybody fishes. They're very accessible to anyone, and we're going to see if we can get on to some stripers. Now, the one thing about chasing stripers on Lake Watery is that you will also encounter some catfish along the way. All right, got one to tuck around, tuck a little bait here. Pretty sure this is a catfish. And you probably ask yourself, how can you tell the difference between one fish and another? Well, catfish, a lot of times are gonna be kind of a straight pull, a little bit side to side, but not a lot. Uh, this one almost feels like he's wrapped. He's not really, he's fighting weird. Uh, stripers usually make a right to left run, uh, a lot more aggressive swimming action with what's going on. This fish, fish feels wrapped or something. I'm gonna be a little bit careful with him since I'm fishing very light line. And I really don't have a heavy leader. I've just got a very light leader, the same as my, uh, uh, same as my main line, which is about 12 pounds. So keeping it kind of fun and sporting here. Not after big fish. This is just what you can do coming out here, learning the fish, starting out, uh, and it gets you on the water. Oh yeah. This would be a nice eater if you were keeping fish to eat. If you're taking fish home, wanted to eat some, do a little catch and cook at home. This is the kind of fish that you want. These are the perfect size. We actually caught some the other day. I kept some on the bigger end of what I was catching like that one that hook works that sucker was not coming off and i caught some bigger fish i say bigger probably six seven pounds and my son asked me is it they taste different than what you normally keep and normally what i keep is that size it's about enough fish for one person in a meal it's about a serving size fish and uh he said i like those little ones better and they are better they do taste better so that's why most of the uh, fish houses, fish camps that buy fish from people, uh, they want younger fish. They don't want the older fish. They just taste better. So there we go. There's another one. I'll show you this rig one more time as soon as I get it up through here. Again, Carolina rig. This one's got a very small sinker on it. Piece of line, your main line. I got a little stop right there that uh, just keeps the this keeps the sinker from bashing into the knot. A little small swivel, and I'm actually using the same line as my main line. Uh, the reason you put the swivel on here is if there's some twist down there when it's spinning, especially here where we have current, it'll keep everything from getting knotted up and twisting your line. That's why you put the leader and the uh, swivel on there. It just takes care of it. Getting bit over here, I'm gonna get a bait on these things. I'm fishing a very small bait today, guys. These are very small pieces of bait. When the striper are in here and the white bass both will hit a cut bait this time of the year. And that's all I'm fishing, just small pieces. Don't need anything super huge. Uh, if I was fishing for catfish, big catfish, I would, ooh, that's that one again, pipeline. That one's gonna be on the way to you guys. Check out uh, pipeline tackle. They do real repair, especially on these Abu Garcias. That one's singing. But um, yeah, if I was fishing for bigger catfish, probably fishing in a different place. I probably, this is just kind of the tail race right below the dam. Probably wouldn't be fishing here, not that you can't catch them here, but I think there'd be some better places on down a little bit. Maybe some shelter out of some of the current. And uh, maybe fishing some different baits, pinning them in certain places behind rock piles. But today we're just trying to catch fish. We're not worried about doing anything fancy, just catching fish. And uh, Maybe get a good one. All right, folks, with the obligatory catfish out of the way, it's time to get on to the stripers. Uh, and on this trip, I'm using the Striper Stealth Medium Light Rods. They're a perfect rod for this size fish, this type of fishing, and they're also really good for downlining live baits underneath the boat for stripers. Uh, on the Striper Stealth Rod, I've got Abu Garcia 5,000 reels. And on those reels, I've got 12-pound clear 
slime line monofilament. Uh, on the business end, I've got a small circle hook and then a one ounce sinker to keep it on the bottom. Ooh, got another little something. That's a little fish. I'd actually pop the hook on this one. He was doing a little peck, peck, peck bite. There's a lot of rock in here, rocky bottom. You can find some of these little divots in here to park these baits behind you and catch one. He's digging down kind of funny. Striper, small striper. See if I can get the hook. I do not want to kill this fish. I'm gonna see if I can get this hook out of his mouth. Yeah, he came out good. A little small fish, put and take fish. On this lake, you can legally keep this fish. There is no size limit. There is a 10 fish limit. But we're gonna let that little fella go and catch this fish. This is probably a catfish. Uh, as I was saying, there is a, this is running like a striper. This is a, there's a 10 fish limit here. You can keep them. I don't keep them generally that small. I'm betting this is a striper. He kept running off in other directions. He's running over that way. Money says a striper. Let's see here. Yeah, this was on one of my perch runs. Oh yeah, another one. Another one. Got a little school of them coming in, maybe. Keep this from getting tangled up. Unlike everybody else that would keep you and eat you. One of the things, let me get the hook out of your tail first. That happens when you have this kind of limit is that people feel they're supposed to keep them for some reason. Got him out safe with that. He was actually right in the face of the gill. Another small one, little juvenile. Nice fish. Again, people will fill a cooler up with these little things. And uh, instead, we're going to let them go. I don't mind keeping some, uh, the bigger ones, but I don't feel that. Like with a lot of things and a lot of types of fishing, I don't feel just because I can keep them that I have to keep them. There, will be, there are people that will bring literally a boatload of people up here when the bite's on just so they can keep 40 fish. And uh, gotta be better, more responsible than that, I think. There's a fish on that rod too. Boom. This, that's good fishing. Now what can happen here is, most of the boats that were around me left. I've still got a couple in sight. What'll happen is people will roll up here, they'll fish, They'll not catch anything in the leaf. Now what can happen is, this feels like a striper too. Uh, all of a sudden, you can get a school of these things running up through here, and that is a striper. And I think that's what has happened. I'm parked in a place. Easy, stop, 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 stop. And I hung around long enough, and they started biting. Right here while the camera's rolling, I put three of them in the boat. Now these are real small, real small fish. But fun to catch, especially if you've got some lighter tackle. Boom, there goes another rod right there. Boom, put that one back. Let me chunk these baits back out again. Now my understanding is these fish, just so you know the biology of them, they do not, they make a spawning run they will lay eggs, but they will not actually reproduce because they don't have enough of water. Striper take a long run of water for the eggs to... Ooh, that one sounds bad. That one needs some work. There's a fish right there. For the eggs to become fertilized. And they can't really do that here because the river runs not long enough. So let me do this. Let me do this. Let me get this one. Poof. There we go. For these smaller fish, these, these lighter action striper stealth rods are perfect. Got a nice limber tip. Fish doesn't feel the bite. Also, if you're downlining, uh, these are a great 
great rod. I think this may be a striper. He's running off to the side. Yep. Another small one. Let me flip him in here. Bang. These are small. I will say that. Normally, um, they're not huge fish, but simmer down. They're generally bigger than this. My understanding is generally these are young males making a run early. They'll show up early. And uh, there ain't nothing happening. The mamas aren't here. So. But it's uh, fun fishing. It's, they're fun fish to catch, especially if you go with some lighter tackle like I'm using. These striper self rods. I think these are a. Let's see what the action is on them. Yep, yeah, some medium light action. Perfect for these fish. Uh, I'm gonna put pipeline tackle in the business for cleaning these things. Um, but yeah, it's fun fishing. It's fun catching when they're in here. It's great. Like I said, these things will get up four, five, six pounds, a little bit bigger. They generally don't get big, 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 big in this lake because most of them get taken out. Uh, that's why all these boats were up here early. They were seeing if the fish were here. There goes one behind me hitting. Uh, like I said. If people don't catch them when they first get up here, they'll fish for a while and dismiss it as, up. Oh, the bite's over with, or they're not here, and they'll leave. Now, like most lakes that have stripers, the tail race areas of dams are a great place to fish. Uh, it's no different here on Lake Watery. When they are there, it varies. Uh, anywhere from March to April. Uh, it really depends on water flow, temperatures, and just what's going on with the fish. Some days you can be on them, you can be on them for a couple of days, and then poof, they're gone. Uh, so fishing consistently helps produce fish, but pretty much about any time in the springtime, you can at least get on a few fish in this area. Uh, a little bit quiet for a minute, and then I got popped again. It's funny, I had that flurry of like, all those stripers came through. Then it went dead, nothing, absolutely nothing. I just got bit. I'm not sure what this is. Do a rod dance here. Got a little quick head shake. That's another thing. Striper's kind of, kind of a boop, boop, boop kind of head shake. Might be a striper. I think it is. He's, yep. Another small one. Uh, maybe we got another little school of them coming through. Easy. 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 Simmer down. Maybe we'll get us another little run of them coming through. Young juvenile fish. Yeah. Again, old Carolina rig's hard to beat. Catching fish. I ain't got a big piece of bait on here, nothing fancy. Put that sucker on there. Get that back through the skin. A piece of gizzard shad. Nice little basic Carolina rig. It is the fish catching rig. Best of all times. They're catching up. I got one going behind me. Get that one on the bottom. I got one going right there. That rod's flipping over. Knock him into gear. Maybe. Maybe. Stay button. Yep, he's there. Maybe we got a school of them coming back through. This can't tell what this one is. Maybe we got us a school. This feels heavier. This may be a catfish. He's kind of in line again, kind of staying straight. I got it just a different feel. If you catch them side by side, just that head shake feels a little different. This striper's kind of got that bass head shake that's real quick and subtle, or quick and sudden. This is just a straight pull. Are you getting to some of them big ones? A little different. I think this is an old catfish. It's funny how the bite went away, then came back. Yep, might be a channel cat. Fan wrap too, that's why he feels so heavy. And he may be into my other line. Oh, this has a recipe for disaster right there. Easy. Easy, get you. That old Carolina rig will catch them all. Catch them all. 
some little fish. Now, I'm using circle hooks, okay? Makes it real easy. That's why you don't see me jumping and going crazy to get to these rods. They'll pretty much hook themselves, especially in current. You can use J-hooks if you like them, if you like jerking a rod and setting a hook. But uh, these circle hooks will kind of do the job for you. And when you get into a really good bite, you got a lot of rods going off. It's nice to have that hook doing the work for you. Tuck off. Sadly, I think it's a catfish. Same as a big striper. I'd like to see y'all, let y'all see a better striper anyway. The one thing you will get to see is what a striper stealth rod will do in current with a catfish. That is a catfish. It's got a big catfish. It feels like a catfish. I just wonder what the catfish bite would be like if I tried really putting some pressure on catching them. Speaking of putting pressure, I'm gonna have to play this one a little smarter. Like I said, I do not have heavy line and I do not have heavy leaders at all. I may be netting a smaller fish because one good head shake will snap one of these leaders very easily. Matter of fact, normally there's a rod behind me too. Oh, striper, it's a good one. Got him. Now this fish is a little more typical of what you'll catch and what people are after up here when the bite's good. This is a good fish. For this lake, it's upper end fish. Nice one. Beautiful colors, great fish. Find the catch. Now let's see what's on this rod. It'd be nice if I got a school of those coming through. That's kind of what everybody wants to see come through here. Get a school of those coming through and catch a bunch of them. That is most likely a striper. He's running off to the side in different directions. Smaller fish though. He is in my other line too. Flip. Oh wow. He was tangled in a line and I pulled him between it. Amazing. Another one. Little box fish. Okay. Fun fishing. You can tell the difference in size from the last one. But it's a perfect rod for it. This is the striper stealth rod. They've got these things in a bunch of different actions. So if you fish for big stripers, they've got some different rods, different actions that'll suit your style fishing. That one may be going again, the one I just cast out. Uh, got one going. That one was off the rod up on the bank. Another little lull here in the bite. I got some guys drifting behind me. Ooh, he's shaking like a striper. He's running like a striper. He is a striper. He is a stropping bass. Oh, there he is. Yes, sir. We'll take him. Easy, 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 simmer, simmer. Pretty fish. Pretty colors. There we go. Another small one. We got a bunch of little ones in here. I don't know where the big ones are. Well, like I said in the beginning, you're always going to catch a few catfish along the way. And on this trip, I had to end the day with a catfish. Good, my bite, boy. Mm, got him. Got him. That's catfish. 
That's a catfish. He, uh, I need barely pick that bait up. I just lifted up on the rod and felt it off the hook. I'm gonna have to play with him. He's uh, got a back anchor out now. I made a move down the river some. The current's not as strong. Wind's still blowing straight up the river. So uh, it's a little tougher now at the back of the boat because I got an anchor to navigate. Still good flow down here. Winds kind of comes and goes, kind of gusty. I got me a little hand net over here. I'm gonna try using on this fish. Just to keep from breaking that leader. He's not a super big fish. Normally I flip him in the boat, but light leader and break it real easy. so I can show you off. I don't have to let go of you. There we go. Good eater size fish. Old flexible tip on that uh, stealth cat helped out there with him at the boat. Well folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're gonna like.